Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Madrid Ball. I hope you all are safe and sound, and what a beautiful day it is, Madridistas, isn't it? What a beautiful day it is to bask in the glory of an El Clasico victory. Today we will do the match review of Barcelona versus Real Madrid. This will be a match reaction video. The other video that I will be uploading in a matter of hours will be a more in-depth analysis video where we will be talking about the tactics used by Zidane and Koeman and how that impacted the outcome of the game. So you are in for a treat today. It's going to be a double upload on the channel for the first time in a day. Now coming to the match. We know how we were not performing well against lesser oppositions in the previous two fixtures. And one feature that was a main characteristic of Real Madrid's side was the lack of energy and lack of defensive solidity in the first half mostly. But we had spoken in the match preview how past results do not have much of a bearing on teams going into an El Clasico. It's a completely different match where form goes out of the window and the players can completely reboot themselves and bring out their best version. And fortunately for us, that is exactly what happened. Our prayers had been answered and the players had turned up with a completely different attitude, completely different mindset and that was very evident from the very early minutes of the game. I thought the first half was absolutely brilliant, both teams were creating chances and we of course drew first blood through a goal from Valverde. The move began with Nacho passing the ball to Benzema, Benzema then spotted Valverde doing his box to box stuff. He had made a brilliant run towards the opposition penalty area and then Benzema cut open the Barcelona defence. He found Valverde. Valverde Verde looked up before hitting the shot and then placed it perfectly into the targeted area. Great finish from Valverde. He doesn't score many, but what a day it was for Valverde. Just like the previous season, he was great at the camp now and for a change, Real Madrid were in front. That was a goal we needed which set the tune of the match. But soon it was Barcelona's turn to respond and it was Leo Messi who made a typical dinked pass to Jordi Alba making a run on the left flank. It was again the Messi-Alba connection at work and then Alba cuts it in for Ansu who had made a run down the centre of the attack. Our defence couldn't cope up with the move and soon Barcelona, within three minutes, had got the equaliser. Everything was happening so quickly. It was end-to-end -end stuff with both teams creating chances and it was a crack of a first half. It had everything that we had come to expect from an El Clasico and it did not disappoint at all. Thibaut Courtois was again called into action when he had to make a big save and the score was one all. It was in the 23rd minute that Messi with a dip of his shoulder had got away from Ramos and then Courtois made a sublime save to keep the scores even Steven. It was a heart in the mouth moment and soon seconds later Cruz was picked out making a nicely timed run then Cruz passed it to Benzema and Neto made a big save to prevent Barcelona from going behind. It was a very big save at that point of time just tells you how end-to-end -end it was in the first half. One moment Courtois was called into action and moments later it was the other goalkeeper's turn to respond to the call. There were numerous other chances as well for both sides but we went into half time one all after an entertaining half of football. Second half, I would say we started slowly and the goal that Real Madrid got was against the rhythm of the game. Barcelona were on top until that Ramos long lay penalty incident. And a lot has been said about the decision and I for one cannot understand. What is the complaint about? Handball was given against Serginho Dest near Barcelona's penalty area. It was Cruz who whipped in the cross from the dead ball. Ramos was there in the penalty area looking to get his head to the ball. But Longley was focused more on Ramos rather than the incoming ball. And in the process, he pulls the shirt of Sergio Ramos. And shirt pulling, that too, inside the penalty box, is a cardinal sin. You cannot escape the consequences thereafter. It doesn't matter how Ramos fell or in which direction he fell. What matters is that his shirt was pulled and that is clear as it can get. It was clear penalty and if anyone is to be blamed, it's no one but Longley. You just cannot get away with such nonsense inside your own penalty box. Penalty was awarded after an on-field review, then Ramos took his penalty which was finished and he just has the belief in him, the ice cool composure while taking those penalties that makes it so amazing. We just know Ramos will deliver and he keeps on delivering. God bless Ramos, again coming to the rescue of the team in the biggest club football rivalry. Our defence today looked much better with both Casemiro and Ramos in the lineup. Cruz was also good controlling the game, making those crosses, did some defensive work as well. And what I really liked about Real was they really played passionately defending the honour of the club. 
Barca tried to catch up, but they were not clicking well towards the end. And then we had Luka Modric getting a goal in the 90th minute. It was like a cherry on the top of that beautiful performance. He started the move with a darting forward run, passes it, looking to get Vinicius on the end of it. But Neto had come off his line to deal with the danger. He spills it. Rodrigo gives the ball back to Modric. And then Modric was dancing inside the penalty area, sending the opposition goalkeepers and defenders into bewilderment, baffling them with his movement. He bullies Neto, took all the time, and with the outside of his foot, made a superb finish. It was magnificent! The party mood began with that goal, we all were overjoyed with that result, and we retained the bragging rights. We had all the football analysts siding with Barcelona before the clash, but we are Real Madrid. You can never rule us out. We can lose five matches in a row and still put on a good result in the El Clasico. And the same thing for Barcelona. Even they can be in tatters, yet when the Clasico comes, a different version of that side can turn up. It's a game of fine margins, and yesterday the margins were in our favour, and that is a lesson for all. In football, anything can happen, and it's wise not to rule out any opposition. We have got a great result, Madridistas, and we needed this victory more than Barcelona to set us up for the crucial matches that lie ahead. Now what Zidane has to do is to take the momentum and continue to build on it. It's very important that Zidane keeps the focus of the players in the right place, avoid any complacency, because with the same attitude and with a few key players returning in the next few days, we can build something good. We can build something beautiful for this season. The talent is there, and when we will see the return of Hazard and Carvajal to the starting lineup, things should get better and better. So that is all we have in the match review. Stay tuned, Madridistas. I will be putting the tactical analysis of the El Clasico. We will talk about the formations and the substitutions in that video. I will see you soon. Till then, glory to Madrid. And as always, Hala Madrid. Yeah.